AD7519 fans and Sensei fans and Sensei himself. We are looking at a configuration where these two are connected to those two and all the other switches except for the ones which interfere are all turned on. Okay, so not 256 switches turned on, but a lot, because if we didn't, we'd have all kinds of quartz short circuits if we did it to the other ones. And what do we see here on the screen? We see that the blue output is equal to the red input. And now, you're going to just have to trust me as I click on the turn all connections off. And in the past, remember that when we had all these connections turned on, if we turn them off, the whole thing just failed and we couldn't do anything with it anymore. So here we go. Ready? One, two, three, off! Off it works! It completely works. And now we're going to try just to see if other things work because that was not just turning it off, but we have to be able to use it again. So we're going to try a A series connection, so that's a plus of A, B, C, D, E, and F, and see what happens if we get, we turn them all on. Okay, that does it. And over here, yes, it does indeed work. So the problem was something else other than the uh, AD75019, which would have been very surprising because it is a very old and well used switch chip. And here is the Sensei matrix board working really, really well. I recommend that anyone, anyone who wants to play with an AD75019 gets himself an a, uh, a Sensei matrix board. That is cool. That is really cool. Let's try turning it off now and see if it still works. We turn them all off, click, they all go off, and there it's off. Yes, folks, it's off. And we turn them back on. Ready? Go. Oh, there it goes. Gee, God, great. It's unbelievable. Thank you, Sensei. You have really step, made a huge contribution to the life of Pi Guitars and AD75019 users throughout the world.